Enigix is excited to announce the opening of its newest data center. Situated in the heart of Eurasia, the 180 megawatt facility ranks among the largest data centers in the world. Construction commenced in August 2019 on a privately owned 15 hectare land plot outside Ekibastuz, Kazakhstan. Power to the Enegix data center is supplied from the Kazakhstan Electric Grid Operating Company's substation by a 220 kilovolt overhead line to the data center's own substation. Electric power from the data center substation is fed to two three-phase Toshiba transformers rated for 125,000 kilovolt amperes each, reducing voltage from 220 to 10 kilovolt. The 10 kilovolt current is routed along power cables and reinforced concrete trays to the hangar's transformer substations, consisting of eight 2500 kilovolt ampere transformers, reducing voltage from 10 kilovolts to 400 volts. Each substation provides 20 megawatts via overhead cable trays to the electric cabinets inside the hangars, which supply each power phase to the mining equipment. Mining equipment is installed on racks opposite the power cabinet and is connected to the 220 volt source. Flow volume is controlled using roll shutters, enabling the hangers to maintain constant air temperature in any weather conditions year-round. Cooling air undergoes three-step filtration before entering the hangers to protect from the elements and dust. The facility is designed to maintain constant airflow temperature in all weather conditions year-round. The personnel working in the hangars are provided with modern and comfortable accommodation facilities designed for 72 persons. The facility also has its own cafeteria outfitted with all the necessary amenities and equipment to provide varied and wholesome meals for the facility's personnel. The facility is guarded by an armed security force working around the clock which includes a rapid response unit with an off-road vehicle, trained canine units, and security checkpoints to ensure access control and compliance with site rules. The entire territory of the facility is monitored through a video surveillance system by the security division, which coordinates ground security forces by radio.